Hello everyone, it's Chemicator. Welcome back to my channel. Resonance is a basic concept in chemistry, and it's the beating heart of many reactions that occur in chemistry world. In this episode, I will shed light on the resonance concept and deeply investigate the relationship between resonance and stability. Before that, subscribe to the channel, like the video and leave a comment if this content is interesting to you. At the beginning, let's answer a basic question. What is the resonance? There are some molecules that can be shown by two or more Lewis structures. The misconception about this structure is that they are interconverted into each other, but there is only one structure and the actual molecule is a hybrid or mixture of these resonance structures. The superposition of two or more Lewis structures to describe the bonding in a molecule is called resonance. Benzene is a classic example in which all six bonds are equivalent and is represented by two equivalent resonance structures. We cannot tell that the real structure is this or this, so benzene is a combination of both of them. When the resonance occurs in a molecule, it means that the electrons are covering a larger number of atoms and they are occupying more space. This is defined as the localization. Generally speaking, the more resonance structures leading to more stability. The energy of a stabilization imparted by resonance is called resonance energy or the localization energy. From your textbooks, you should know that the resonance makes the molecules more stable. But what is the stability? We must always keep clear in our mind that there are two types of stability, thermodynamic and kinetic stability which have completely different origins. Thermodynamic stability involves the position of a particular equilibrium, so we deal with gibbs helmholtz equation, which tells us that change in the Gibbs free energy between two different chemical states determine the position of the equilibrium. In this equation, we assume that change in entropy of our system is zero, so delta G equals delta H. It means that change in free energy is equal to the heat of formation, which defines as formation of the molecule from its constitution elements. We know that benzene consists of 6 carbon and 6 hydrogen atoms. According to the references, a simple calculation indicates that the heat of formation of benzene from its element in a standard condition is plus 19.82 kcal per mole. What is the meaning of this number? Surprisingly, thermodynamic tells us that benzene is an unstable compound relative to its element because the value of delta G is positive. So there must be another factor making benzene especially an stable molecule. As mentioned earlier, the localization energy due to resonance structures makes a huge barrier to the composition of benzene to its elements. This is the concept of kinetic stability. Now it's time to answer the fundamental question in a convenient way. Why does resonance make a molecule more stable? The answer has its root in physical chemistry classes called the particle in a box calculation. Finding the energy of an electron is possible when we can solve the Schrodinger equation. For simplification, consider an electron moving around x-axis in a one-dimensional box. The potential energy of the electron inside the box is zero, but at the edges and beyond that is infinitive. Since the potential energy cannot be infinitive, movement of the electron is confined to the region within the box. In this context, the solutions of the Schrodinger equation are very simple. As you see in this equation, the possible energies are quantized, Planck constant and the mass of the electron are constant numbers, so the energy is inversely related to the square of the length of the box. Remember that orbital is a function, describing the location of the electron, and can be used to calculate the possibility of finding an electron in a specific region of a space, so our box is an analogy to an orbital. Now what happens if the length of the box become larger? So here's the bottom line. Taking into account relation between the energy of the electron and length of the box, if the electron occupies a larger amount of a space, its energy decreases. When resonance occurs in a molecule, it means that the length of our box increases. As a result, electrons occupy more space and their energy decreases. This is why resonance is an stabilizing concept.